making custom backing track from any MIDI song. From any MIDI file like this. To become your custom backing track like this. First, googled any MIDI song, for example reggae song. Next, open Cubase and import the MIDI files. This is the original MIDI files. To change the chords, you have to select all melodic MIDI tracks. Let's check it first. This is not a melodic track, it's a drum or percussion track. Now, select all the melodic clips. But don't select the drum or percussion clips. Go to Project. Chord Track Menu. And select Create Chord Symbols. Cubase automatically detects the chords of the song. Because I want to change this to another song, I'm deleting all the chords. Use the pencil tools, and click, to draw a chord box like this. For example, I want to change this song to another reggae song, Red Red Wine by UB40. Find the song chords on the internet, like www.hooktiri.com slash tab. And search the song.
This is the song's chords. Entering it to Cubase. Check the song's tempo. And entering it in Cubase. Copy and paste the chords for the rest of the song. Select all the MIDI clips. Go to Project. Chord Track menu and select Map to Chord Track. Choose Chords. Now the chords of the selected MIDI clips all change to the new chord progression. Sorry, the chords start at the wrong measure. Let's check again. Great. Now the song has transformed to the new song. You can change any MIDI files to another song without needing to record anything. If you want to make the MP3 of the song, set the left and right locators and click File, Export, Audio Mixed Down Menu. This is the MP3 of the song. Hope this helps you. Please like and share this video. And subscribe for more tips and tricks. Visit for a complete list of videos.